is uh, mo, more ni siya na as a sud niya i construction guide. Okay? So tanan nga mga principles ang iyahang pagsagol sa clay, sa simento, kung sa kadaghanon na ana dito sa manual. Tagsaan ta mo tanan. Okay? So I will provide you with this construction guide. Um, iagi lang ako nila Consel Dayday o Consel Jerson. Consel, pwede na kamo i-distribute na lang ana in session. Okay. So Morning, no? Uh, let's watch this video. Okay. So mo ni ako ang dream no nga kanang ang mga purok ato mo ginang community maghimo na sila mga eco bricks ug tanan natog himong eco bricks na mga limpyo tag Sabado. And then ang atong first love project kay atong i ihatag sa eskwelahan para ang mga sunod nga mga generation makasunod sa sila. Okay, so imagine na atay mga area dere nga purok ka Iktay, purok unsa pa nga purok, purok school site, uh, purok Mam Josephine sa tay purok niya Mam Josephine. Proper ka Iktay din kang Mam purok um uh, siya na ni. Oh, sa regla na yon. Oh, oh, kalandro. <laughs> So, muna no na mga area dere ba niya. Apil na niyo sa inyong indicator sa inyong community service sa inyong naga kung garbo. Na ba mo ikuan kanang service to the to the kuan, to the community? Na na. Na ba nay apil na kun siya lang kuan. Kumo mo kay boss inyong scorecard? Na ano? Oh. So nagtinabangay mo o oh, recyclable materials sa kang igo. Niya picture gyud niya i-document kay kanigong naga kong garbo more on sa pictures. Ya kani kong dere, gipausab na ko tanan kay katong ni Ari mga supervisor o gatong superintendent, ipabalhin lagi nila sa ubos tanan. 
para dili mag-alik sa dan sa mga bata. So muna, nag-struggle na sa daron, balik ka sa sinugdanan. Akong idea kay, ato ta dito sa, kanagin na mga lingkuranan na, na areas, diyan na to, i, kuan na to ang mga, uh, mga eco-bricks na mga lingkuranan. O, oh, dito sa ubos. Yeah, atong libilan sa inyong mga purok. Kanang donated by purok kuan, ano, or a love project of purok kaitay, purok kalandron, purok Ah, pwede saan? May problema. Oh, basta ako ang purpose ani kay ma masugdan lang. Kaya takito sa tamo sa mga design nga pwede na to kapilian. This is an eco-brick. It contains plastic trash, such as straws, lids, plastic bags, and other non-biodegradable trash. Let me show you what we can build with it. Right over here are eco-bricks that are mounted and ready for cementing. Now, there are two ways you can build with eco-bricks. The first is the horizontal method, which is good for benches, plant boxes, and other low-rising structures. And the second is through the vertical method, which we'll be showing you today. When building with eco-bricks, always make sure that the bricks you use are packed tight and have absolutely no give. This is an example of a bad eco-brick. The air gaps can ruin the integrity of your build. Now in building a fence line just like this, the important thing to remember is that every 10 feet, you have these cement posts that are made out of hollow block and rebar. And you also have a base layer of hollow block that's one to two layers deep. To secure the bottles between the fence posts, we use a combination of bamboo, mesh wire, and chicken wire every few inches so we can secure the bottles. Now we're using a three is to one ratio of sand to cement. You can also add adobe so you don't have to use as much cement. Once you have the right mixture, you can start putting cement on your wall. And in doing so, don't forget to get all of the gaps in between the bottles so you have a nice sturdy wall. Once you're done cementing and adding finishing touches to the wall, this is how it's going to look like. This particular section of wall uses about one metric ton of plastic. That's plastic that's not going into the ocean, it's not going to a landfill, but it's being reused. <laughs> 